Hello. You may have heard that President Trump has promised to repeal and replace the disastrous Obamacare debacle of the last administration. You may have also heard that House Republicans have passed the American Health Care Act, which will change every American's life for the better. President Trump understands that you may have some questions about what this means for you, and he'd like to set the record straight. What kind of impact will this have on my health care? Great question. In short, the AHCA will offer you more choice in health care providers, as well as increased flexibility in premiums, deductibles, and health savings accounts. Great, but how specifically? Next question. What about pre-existing conditions? Will those be covered? Yes, some pre-existing conditions will be covered. Oh, I'm a cancer survivor. Will I be covered? No. I have a congenital heart defect. Will I be covered? No. I donated a kidney. Will I be covered? No. I had an emergency C-section. Will I be covered? Nope. I'm on Medicaid. Will I still be covered? Ooh. You f kidding me? So then will anyone with a pre-existing condition be covered? In some cases. Are you a member of Congress? Um, no. Then you won't be covered. I don't make a lot of money, so when I buy my insurance on the ACA exchange, I get a credit to help pay for it. How will that change? Great question. The AHCA offers far less financial assistance to the young, the elderly, and those with a low income. But don't worry. Because of your pre-existing condition, it won't matter. I inherited $66 million from my uncle. Will I be covered? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You're rich, you're fine. What about essential benefits? Like covering emergency room trips? No. Mental health services? Nope. Pregnancy? Why should men have to pay for a service they're never going to use? So as you can see, the AHCA is going to help you whether you own a chain of successful electronics manufacturers, are struggling to buy a private island, or are just having a tough time getting infusions of young teenage blood. So please, join me in helping President Trump make healthcare great again. Excuse me. Hello? Okay. Um, thank you. I have bladder cancer. It's treatable, but... Well, I would like to see somebody who has the guts to begin to stand up to the people who own this country. We're going to give America something they actually want. Change from the left. This is a movement, it's not going away. It started with Occupy. Change is difficult. 22% of America's children of all colors live in poverty in the richest nation in the history of the world. We can live without oil, we can't live without water. Our rivers are not going to be contaminated. They are contaminated. Right now, global capitalism is failing on a massive scale. Demand an end to all interventionist regime change wars. My God, if we can send a man to the moon, children. Healthcare is a right of every citizen. We stand with immigrants and Muslims and Black Lives Matter. There was no way to vote against Goldman Sachs. There was no way to vote against more war. There was no way to vote against Big Pharma or those motherfuckers cracking heads in North Dakota. We're going to take the corporate establishment Democrats and run them out of Washington. And we are being tested about whether or not we have heart enough, strength enough, soul made our own civilization more just, freer, more accomplished, and prosperous than the America that existed when I watched my father go off to war on December 7th, 1941. To fear the world we have organized and led the three quarters of a century to abandon the ideals we have advanced around the globe, to refuse the obligations of international leadership and our duty to remain the last best hope of Earth, for the sake of some half-baked, spurious nationalism cooked up by people who would rather find scapegoats than solve problems. This is un- 
is as unpatriotic as an attachment to any other tired dogma of the past that Americans consigned to the ash, cheap, the ash heap of history. We live in a land made of ideals, not blood and soil. We are the custodians of those ideals at home and their champion abroad. We've done great good in the world. That leadership has had its costs, but we have become incomparably powerful and wealthy as we did. We have a moral obligation to continue in our just cause, and we would bring more than shame on ourselves if we don't. has begun. After President Trump's wars, climate disaster, and zombie apocalypse, Americans Andy. fight to survive. Oh, Andy! Oh, my God! Andy! Oh, my God! Baby! Oh, my God, baby! I just I needed a little time, you know? You feel bad because you voted for Jill Stein instead of helping to end the rise of fascism in this country, but listen, you have to stop it, okay? Because I love you. I love you, and too. I need you. I need you. Oh, man. Oh God, you look terrible. You must be so thirsty. Are you yeah, thirsty? So thirsty. Okay, oh God, like... here I have some water. Oh God. Oh God. I... Oh God. Here's some water. Bottled water. Oh, I can't. You know how I feel about that. This is like a landfill starter kit right here. It is made of pollutants. I can't. But you did. You die. Okay. All right. All right. Well, then you must be hungry. <laughs> so I have the last bit of my stash Anything. here. You can have here. Anything. Anything but processed meats. I can't with this. This is poison. Baby, you haven't eaten in days. That, that is that is trans fat. Jesus, fine. Come on. Then let's just go, okay? Let's just go. Look, my car is right up the road, right? And it still works, so let's just get out of here. Me and you, okay? Fossil fuels got us into this mess. They can't get us out. Now you listen to me. Okay, you have got to stop sacrificing everything that is good and beautiful because you're not getting exactly what you want when you want it. We are fighting for our lives right now. We're fighting for our future, baby. Let's just go, okay? And we'll fight. We'll fight together, okay? Yes. You and me. Yes. Okay. Just take the bumper sticker off your car. I can't with the bumper sticker. I'm out. What? I'm out. Baby. Nope. Good luck to you. 2016 third party voters. Baby! You fucking moron! You can lead them to water, but you can't make them drink. They're holding up for kombucha or something. Back that way, guys.